Hey, what's going on, guys? Uh, welcome to another episode of Sense of South Jersey. Uh, again, I'm Kellen, and we're going to do another fragrance review. Um, this particular review is going to be a incorporating a couple of scents that I'm interested in that I really enjoy. Um, about a month ago, I did a, a review on Sterling Soap's Barbershop, and I just did that particular cologne. And um, the fougere category, aromatic fougere, is probably my favorite type of scent, and it's my favorite type of uh, colognes. And Barbershop scents, pretty widely talked about, and there's a lot of scents that I think really remind me of a barbershop, and then there's a lot of scents that, not maybe I shouldn't say a lot, but uh, several scents that are in that category that personally I don't feel like remind me of a barber shop at all. Um, and one of the ones that comes to mind on one that smells amazing is really, really high end, um, but to me doesn't really smell like a barber shop, at least the one that I've been to, um, is MDCI's Invasion Barber. And the clone that I have, that I don't have MDCI, but I have um, Dua, which awesome house. They do all different types of imitation um, fragrances and they're great price and they smell amazing and they last a really long time. But I have Invasion of the Barbers. And this particular cologne is so complex and I just can't think of any time I've ever been to a barber shop and it smelled like this. Like this smells really good. I'm not knocking any of them, not MDCI, not, not Dua, but it just, it seems a little bit too, I don't know, high end smelling than, than uh, the normal barbershops that I go to. And I've been to multiple barbershops, um, uh, some outside of Philadelphia and then the ones here in, in South Jersey where I live now. And um, to me, what encompasses the scent of a barbershop really are simple colognes, you know what I mean? I'm gonna pick four today and I'm not done. I'm gonna do another video of different ones. Maybe we'll all do some ones that are a little higher end. Um, that still remind me of a barbershop, but this one just doesn't for whatever reason. It's not that it's bad. It smells amazing and I really wanted it and it's an Eau de Parfum strength and it's really, really good, but it doesn't give me that barbershop vibe. Barbershop to me is Barbersol shaving cream, uh, musk, absolutely got to get the musk scent, um, lavender, and some of that's in there. Some of that is in this, don't get me wrong, but this one together just too, smells too complex for me. Like when I think of when I leave the barbershop that I go to now currently, like I never ever smell like that. The barbershops that I've been to, I never smell like that or even get that type of smell. And maybe this is designed to be some sort of super high-end barbershop that's in Europe or London or something like that. Italy maybe, who knows. But the ones that I've been to and there was serious barbers work there, it doesn't, I don't get that type of vibe from this one. I get more of a, this is just its own fragrance that is called Invasion of the Barbers. Again, smells amazing, not knocking it at all. I love it, that's why I have it. But um, doesn't really remind me of a barber shop. So um, I get the, you know, spice, oak moss, that kind of, you know, blend together, but a little bit of alcohol too. Cause again, usually it's aftershave that goes on the back of your neck or your beard. Currently right now I have a beard. I take it on and off, you know, but I have a ton of aftershaves too that I utilize as fragrances. So the one and only first thing that comes to mind when I think of a barbershop has got to be, and I'm sure many people agree and have reviewed this before, Pinod Club Man. This to me, is just classic. Every barbershop I've been to, this is sitting right on the counter and when they're done and they you know, put it on you and then they rub it on the back of your neck and your face or whatever, your neck, it you get the, the scent and just immediately, instantaneously, and some people might not like it. It's not, you know, it's definitely old school, but I have a, I guess, a nose for classic scents. I like kind of that older, I don't even want to say older because that puts a negative connotation, but more, we'll keep it in the, in the term of classic. Um, style and you know this is got some herbal herbal notes it's got citrus in it it's got oak moss and it's just a classic barbershop feel and it's a good aftershave and, and you know club man makes a lot or excuse me pinon makes a lot of different aftershaves but this is the original i've gone through this is probably my third bottle that i've owned um, they make a talcum powder and that's another scent too talcum powder really comes into play when i think of barbershop um, one fragrance that I'm not going to mention here, I'll just do it maybe as an honorable, honorable mention, is um, Wild Country by Avon. That smells to me like talcum powder, and that's a great barbershop scent because that's something that is dusted on you when you're done, um, when they finish the back of your neck at a barbershop. Uh, I'm just trying to think of what do I really, really, really normally smell when I'm at a barbershop, and this one in particular is one that I really like. And Longevity-wise, I'd say I get three plus hours, which is great for an aftershave. Sometimes this lasts even longer than certain, you know, Eau de Cologne fragrances that I really like. But Club Man Ben Pinot, it's classic. You can't beat it. You can find it anywhere. And this, to me, has got barbershop written all over it.
Um, the next one is another old school one that I really like, and I have the cologne and the aftershave, and I'll present both of them to you. It's Musk by Yovan. You can't beat this. This smells so good. I think this one is probably one of the most classic barbershop scents that you get. Again, you can get it anywhere. I have the aftershave, which I really like. Presentation-wise, simple. You got two different color caps, one for the aftershave. You have on the logo right on the front, nothing on the back. Um, and on the bottom, you've got, you know, a couple dates. I'm not really sure what's on the bottom of them. But this one, you know, not expensive. You know, you can see the top's kind of cheap. The sprayer's a little bit cheap distribution-wise. But... It's a great one. You know, you have carnation involved with this one. You have lemon, lime, pepper, uh, lavender, and of course, musk. But that's the main note. Um, and I really like the musk in this one too. And it's a great, and it lasts a long time for me. I really enjoy it. And I think this one is a, this is a cologne. Um, so cologne strength, that's the, you know, the uh, concentration. And this is an after save lotion. Um, but it's, this is, this really reminds me of a barbershop too. I've had this used on me in a barbershop. And I guess maybe that's what I'm basing this off of. Um, you know, what's my experience in a barbershop in terms of, of fragrance and scents? And this one is, uh, is definitely one that comes to mind. I really enjoy it. Um, now, uh, again, it can be found anywhere. It's been around for a long time, stood the test of time. Same thing with Pinot Club, man. You can't really go wrong with this one. Uh, it's definitely old school, but again, I like that vibe. That's one of my favorite styles. So pick this one up. This is a one ounce. It was very inexpensive. I really enjoyed it. Um, and I got the aftershave too. Again, I always like to match my scent with as many accessories of the scent as I possibly can. Um, and this is as much as I could find with this that without looking too hard. But this is another one. So that'll be number two. Um, number three is a, I guess you could call it a niche in terms, because it's a smaller company, um, fine accoutrements, can't get enough of them. I really like their Italian citrus. I did a video about that uh, recently, but when it comes to barbershop, fine accoutrements, American blend aftershave. This stuff is unbelievable. And it really reminds me of a barbershop. And um, I got their Eau de Toilette as well, too, for American Blend. These two are matching. I have the Aftershave Balm, too. This one, um, tonic, lavender, leather. It smells it smells a lot like it's obviously inspired by Reeve Gauche by uh, Yves Saint Laurent. And, um, you know, I don't have that one here. I have that fragrance, but I don't have it here for this list because I'm trying to do just ones that are not as high-end because I don't think of super high-end when I think of a barbershop because you go in, you're spending – what, 20, 30, 35 bucks on a haircut, they're not gonna be dumping a ton of nice um, fragrances on you. They're just not. I, I know from experience in the barbershops that I've gone to at least, can't say or speak for any more than the ones that I've been to, but the ones that I've been to pretty much have all had the same type of styles of fragrance in there. But this one, again, is really, really nice. Um, and this one lasts too. If you spray it on your clothes, again, distribution on this bottle, this bottle's cool. Um, this one, uh, really smells so good right off the bat you get the lavender immediately and I really like it it's it's classic again it has that and this is great what's nice is um when I utilize Reef Gauche I use this as an aftershave too because the smells are almost identical except you know Yves Saint Laurent's a little higher end a little bit um I'm not gonna say better because they smell both this, uh, very similar but this one is awesome Fine Accoutrements is such a cool company and I love that they do um you know, they're aftershave and they got a couple EDTs as well too. And I'm really happy I picked this one up. And this is one at first that I wasn't too crazy, but my first initial, I was like, ah, oh, my, my first impression, I wasn't sure I really loved it, but I really, at the end, probably after about two or three days, after smelling the dry down, smelling it on my clothes afterwards, I'm like, wow, this smells amazing. I really like this one. So American Blend by Fine Accoutrements. Um, and the last one on my list is going to be uh, an old school classic, and it's just going to be Brute Special Reserve by Fabergé. Um, this one, it reminds me of a barbershop. Again, it's this is the uh, this is the Eau de Cologne spray. Um, so, and you know, it's a cheap top, but it, it still smells really good. They got this gaudy uh, um, silver chain here that's around it with this emblem. And if you have the aftershave, which you can get again get anywhere, this one I ordered offline because I don't see this around too too much this particular bottle but again it's a glass bottle all of these were glass bottles too except for the Pinot Club man even the Yvonne Musk had the glass bottle ca cap is um, gonna be plastic but uh, this one in particular is really good Brut um, you got uh, immediately you get bergamot you get uh, uh, anise you have lavender jasmine sandalwood sandalwood another one of my huge favorite barbershop notes sandalwood vetiver uh, musk and citrus citrus those are my favorite but this one um, you, it's fresh it's classic 
It's been around forever. I think it smells really good. It's a great scent. You could wear this to the gym. You could wear it to work. This one is, you know, you could wear it pretty much anywhere. It's not bad for the summer. It's definitely fresh, not overbearing. You know, longevity on all these isn't too great. I think the longest one that lasts probably would be uh, American Blank, because this is into the toilette. The rest of them are cologne strength, and then, of course, this is an aftershave. But um, at the same time, you know, these are the scents that remind me of a barbershop. These are the ones that when I walk out of a barbershop, I either have one of them on, uh, or, you know, some sort of aftershave version of them. So uh, when, when, when it comes to a scent like this, I almost feel like this is just too complex for the basic barbershop, unless, you know, it's being compared to a barbershop of old, one that most people aren't going to experience in their life. But um, anyway, Pinot Clubman, Jovan Musk, Fine Accoutrements American Blend, and Special Reserve Brute by Fabergé. These are going to be the top four basic barbershop fragrances that I consider to be the most common that you're going to find most often and that smell really great too. So if you have a different idea of what you utilize or experience most in a barbershop, um, please comment. If you like what you see, subscribe, leave a question. If you want something for me to review, let me know. Um, thanks again for watching. Again, this is Kellen with Sense of South Jersey. Take care, guys.